You are welcome to another video of CLI-based network automation using Python Nornier based on Cisco devices. In the previous section, we have used Nornier NetMicro plugin to send monitoring command to the network devices. In this section, we will use the same plugin to send but configuration commands to the network devices. There are two methods to prepare configuration commands through a list or through a file. The both methods will be demonstrated in this section. As we have seen and discussed in the previous section, you can see the details of Nornia NetMicro task in GitHub open source community. You can find the source of Nornia NetMicro plugin in the GitHub through Nornia Tech website, Nornia project, and then plugin, and then Nornia NetMicro, or by searching Nornier NetMicro GitHub, and the first output is plugin of Nornier NetMicro task. And then Nornier NetMicro, and then task. As you can see in the list of the tasks, Nornier send command is the task that you can send monitoring commands to the network devices, and it is what we have given to configuration example in the previous section. Two other tasks of Nornier NetMicro plugin. NetMicro send config and NetMicro save config will be discussed in this section. If you look at inside NetMicro send config task, the name of the task and the configuration commands are required parameters that must be sent to the network devices. There are two methods to send configuration commands through a list and through a file. Use config command parameter to send a list of configuration commands to the device and use config file parameter to send the list of configuration commands via a file where each command is on a separate line. Before running the script and sending any configuration commands, you must ensure that the Nornier inventory files and configuration files are already prepared. We discussed how these files are prepared in the previous section, so I don't repeat the discussion here. And you are referred to the previous section, but just to show you, host YAML file, as you can see, a network device R1 with the IP address 111 and groups.yaml with the platform iOS and defaults YAML with the username, password, and platform and configuration file, which we have discussed in the previous section. Also, ensure that the required Python libraries cat install. Nornier, Nornier NetMicro, and Nornier Utils are installed. What each of these Python libraries are used for and how to install them is discussed again in the previous section. And you are referred to the previous section to review the discussion. Now we are ready to review and run the script. As you know, there are two methods to send configuration commands through. Nornier NetMicro plugin, giving the configuration commands in a list or through a file. In the first script, the commands will be pushed through a list. Exactly like Nornier NetMicro send command script, three first lines are to import required tasks to send the configuration commands to the network devices. The task in it Nornier from Nornier plugin is to initialize Nornier. In the previous section, the task Nornier send command was used to send monitoring commands to the network devices. In this section, the task NetMicro send config from the Nornier NetMicro plugin is used to send the configuration commands to the network devices. And finally, we use the task print result from Nornier utils plugin to print the result of sending commands to the network devices. In the next line, Nornier is initialized. 
in the variable an R, then a list of configuration commands are prepared in commands variable, which is used to configure OSPF in network devices, rotor OSPF1, rotor ID, and then configuring a network inside OSPF context mode. Then a function is created with two parameters, the name of the task, netmico send config, as we have imported in the second line, and the list of the configuration commands, which is already prepared in the variable commands. Then the function is run through the initialized nonier nr variable. And finally, print result task is used to print the result of sending configuration commands. Now we can run the script and see the result of the configuration. But before that, let's delete any OSPF configuration from the rotor to make sure of any changes through the script. I've done it before, but let's check it again. As you can see, no rotor OSPF one and if we check again, there is no OSPF configuration. Now we can run the script, Python 3. And this is the result of configuration commands to the network device, but to make sure we can check again inside the rotor itself. As you can see, OSPF is configured inside the Rotor. In the second script, we send the configuration commands through a file two three is the name of the script. If we look at the script, we see that instead of config commands, we use config file parameter to send the configuration commands through a file instead of a list. The config file txt pass through the parameters. If we look at inside the file, cat config file.txt, you will see exactly the same OSPF configuration as the previous script. Let's again delete the configuration from the rotor. At the moment, there is no configuration there. Another difference you see in the script is the use of different tasks, netmico send config and netmico save config. Netmico save config is to save the configuration after the changes are applied to the device. This is equivalent to write memory or copy running config, a startup config in Cisco devices. At the end of the script, the first function is to run to apply the configuration changes through a file. And then the second function is to run the save, netmico save config. Now we can run the script to see the result but before that make sure that there is no configuration in the rotor and we have already deleted we are ready to run the script python 323 the name of the script and it shows that the ospf configuration is applied to the device and then write memory is run inside the device to save the configuration. But to make sure, we can check also inside the rotor. As you can see, the rotor OSPF configuration is now applied to the device.